For a lot of us we wonder what is the difference between saturated fats, unsaturated fats, and trans fats, along with which is the healthiest if any, and what do they do to our body and minds when overconsumed. We'd like to look at what different forms come in each group, and their positive and negative effects have on us all. Traditional saturated fats are predominantly from animal products, like cheese, butter, fatty beef, eggs, coconut and palm oil, while unsaturated fats can be from both plant and animal products and are categorized into two forms, first being monounsaturated fats, such as nuts, avocado, peanut butter, canola oil, olive oil and peanut oil. The second type is polyunsaturated fats, commonly consumed in oil form, derived from vegetables and seeds such as rapeseed, corn, sunflower, safflower, cottonseed and soybean, but can also be found naturally in fish, flaxseed and walnuts. Polyunsaturated fats are also the common source of how humans receive their omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, being that the human body cannot make them, so consuming them in the healthiest form like supplements can be helpful for your overall health. Last are trans fats, these already processed seed and vegetable oils go through an additional process called partial hydrogenation, this is when manufacturers add hydrogen to a processed oil converting it into a semi-solid, like margarine or shortening, which serves for a longer shelf life and flavor stability, while also making it vastly more unhealthy. Popular foods high in trans fats are, pre-made baked goods like pies, cookies, cakes, deep-fried foods, frozen pizza, ready-to-use dough for rolls and biscuits, and much more. So why are seed and vegetable oils so unhealthy? It's all in the processing. When the already genetically modified seeds are heated, it causes a harmful byproduct, because the unsaturated fatty acids in the seeds oxidize, then a solvent is used to increase the amount of oil extracted. Next deodorizing chemicals are added and yet even more chemicals to improve appearance. Another even more harmful step the manufacturers take to prevent oxidation and rancidity, because the oils are so sensitive to light and heat while being unstable, is the addition of synthetic antioxidants. In the process of canola oil, which is made from rapeseed, because of the high heat and chemicals used, it should be labeled with a small amount of trans fat, but the FDA allows manufacturers to round down to zero for any amount less than 0.5 grams per serving, so they market it as zero trans fat. With that being stated, it wouldn't take long for that small amount to accumulate to an amount that would affect the body, being that the annual U.S. consumption of canola oil was 2.47 million metric tons in 2019. What effects can seed and vegetable oil have on our mind and body? Starting with the brain a new study by UC Riverside on soybean oil featured on ScienceDaily.com stated, scientists found pronounced effects of the oil on the hypothalamus, where a number of critical processes take place. The hypothalamus regulates body weight via your metabolism, maintains body temperature, and is critical for reproduction and physical growth, as well as your response to stress," said Margarita Curras Calazzo, a UCR associate professor of neuroscience and lead author on the study. One of the most serious effects of consuming these vegetable oils are the inflammatory problems they pose because of the high amounts of omega-6 they contain, which can throw off your balance of omega-3s and omega-6, which should be a 1 to 1 ratio being omega-3s for its anti-inflammatory properties and omega-6 being a pro-inflammatory. Sadly in recent times the average Western diet consumes 20 times more omega-6 than omega-3s, mostly because of unhealthy oil consumption said. National Center for Biotechnology Information, they can link chronic inflammation to various health problems throughout the body from irritable bowel syndrome, slowing of firing neurons, memory loss, depression, anxiety, and Alzheimer's. As far as physical health in the US, obesity numbers are the worst they've ever been, coinciding with the most seed oil consumption ever, with soybean oil at number one, at 10.66 million metric tons in 2019. Soybeans' primary fatty acid, linoleic acid has been the focus of hundreds of studies because of its link to obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. In a study published on National Library of Medicine's website, they looked at the mice given a diet of soybean oil and found statistically significant increases in weight gain, adiposity, diabetes, glucose intolerance and insulin resistance. Another study found on British Medical Journal's website titled, Omega-6 Vegetable Oils as a Driver of Coronary Heart Disease, 
stated the amount of linoleic acid in adipose tissue, but also in platelets, is additionally positively associated with coronary artery disease, whereas long-chain omega-3 and DHA acid levels in platelets are inversely related to coronary heart disease. This provides rather compelling evidence that omega-3s protect, whereas omega-6 linoleic acid promotes heart disease. What positive benefits do good fats have on us? Now that we've looked at the dark side of bad fats, let's look at the bright side of all the significant benefits we can gain from good fats like almonds, chia seeds, dark chocolate, fatty fish, extra virgin olive oil, coconuts, coconut oil, walnuts, avocados, macadamia nuts, flax seeds, and eggs. Now here's a helpful list of the benefits associated with good fats. Energy. Promotes fat burning. Supports cell growth. Builds muscle faster. Helps absorb vitamins and natural antioxidants. Produces important hormones. Supports your body with essential nutrients. Lower risk of heart disease. Lowers bad cholesterol and increase good cholesterol. That's truly amazing. All those benefits from choosing the right foods to eat. If you would like to see more videos on strengthening your mental health and your body, check out Fit Mind Fit Use YouTube channel where we upload helpful content about fighting mental illness while becoming fit. Thanks for watching.